After months of campaigning, debating, and in some cases arguing, it all comes down to the next three hours. Today is election day. There is a large group, nine candidates running for mayor of Chicago. And we are watching them all with team coverage as Chicago decides. We want to begin with our CBS2 political investigator, Dana Kozloff. She is at Mayor Lori Lightfoot's headquarters. Dana? Marie and Jim, by many accounts, Mayor Lori Lightfoot is fighting for her political life. Some polls have suggested that she might not even make a runoff if there is a runoff. But if the mayor is concerned, she is not showing it today. This morning, she appeared alongside 28th Ward Alderman Jason Irvin and also greeted voters. She was all smiles for the most part. She is also optimistic that votes cast today on Election Day will help her. I'm feeling very good. Um, a lot of people that uh, we saw over the course of the weekend in different parts of the city said that they were um, going to honor their normal tradition in voting on Election Day. Um, so I'm excited about that. Over the past several days, including today, the mayor has been very quick to point out the importance of voting, encouraging people to vote. This a couple of weeks after she told a group that she was speaking to that if, she, if they didn't vote for her, they shouldn't vote to, for anyone at all. But she's certainly now encouraging everyone to get out there and to vote. She's expected here later tonight at Carpenters Hall in River North. She will be watching returns, however, off-site, we're told, with family. I am live in River North. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Jim and Marie. Thank you, Dana. All of the mayoral candidates stayed very busy today, making that final push for votes. We saw Congressman Chewy Garcia out and about in the 24th War talking with voters outside one school. Paul Vallis kept a pretty light campaign schedule today, but this morning he cast his ballot at Healy Elementary School before greeting voters at Manny's Deli. Alderman Sophia King also did a meet and greet at Manny's this afternoon, and she spoke with students at Walter Payton College Prep. Voters still do have plenty of time to get in and cast their ballot. You are looking at a live picture from a polling place open until 7 o'clock tonight. No lines, so get over there if you need to.